do get so much praise up front. You mentioned coaches praising them. Brett Bielma called them guys who just, they're coming out of machine. They're pipelined into the NFL year in and year out. Yeah, they all look the same on the field, but each one of them has their own personality. And one of those guys is Delvin Tomlinson. He's playing with a heavy heart this year. Chris Womack has a story of one promise he made to his mother. Unstoppable terrorizing forces on the defensive line often cut a path straight to Tuscaloosa. Dalvin Tomlinson is one of those forces, bull rushing his way to Bryant Denny from Henry County in McDonough, Georgia. He's just extremely hard worker. And the biggest thing as a coach when you turn on the film, he just played with a high motor. You know, he had a lot of intensity, and his motor was always running. Above the din of his motor and out of all the voices Tomlinson hears when he takes the field, the loudest is the one that's missing, that of his mother, Melinda. She was the backbone of, uh, of that family, that's for sure. They was more than, more like best friends rather than son and mother. The person I could go to with anything, I always have the answer to everything you know, in my life. And she was the one who like motivated me to be Come who I am today. The Tomlinson name is everywhere in McDonough, even the street leading to the school. Let's see what you got. Melinda Tomlinson also left a mark on the football program. Uh, every Friday night, she didn't watch, she didn't go out to the, uh, she, she cooked. And she was uh, the cook in the uh, concession stand. That's what she wanted to do. She used to come to all my games, so uh, every time I'm playing, I feel her in the stands watching over me. Melinda never got to see her son star for the Tide. She was a happy person. She never really showed pain, and she was a fighter. Like, so every time you were around her, she just made you happy. Before his senior year, um, she fell ill. Over time, complications, uh, diabetes, uh, led to kidney and heart failure. I knew it was bothering him, though, but he tried to be strong. She passed away on June 30th, 2011. I was mad, kind of sad, uh, I guess. It was a lot of different emotions at the same time. The day before, Dalvin spent countless hours with his mother and made a promise stronger than any sickness. In that conversation was when he really settled on the University of Alabama. And she felt good about it because before she passed, he had told her he was going to Alabama. It made her feel good. <laughs> Football will bring ups and downs, losses, wins, big tackles, missed tackles. But Dalvin has a rock that goes unseen. There's going to be roadblocks in life. And uh, that was a roadblock for him, but uh, he's overcame it. And, uh, and I, I'm sure it, he thinks about it every day. I haven't seen it, but I, I, would, I would be bold enough to say that he has his, her name somewhere on something that while he's playing. And, and I think uh, she's always in the back of his mind. And, and that promise that he made that, that senior year. And her memory reminds him that he's not in Tuscaloosa just for himself. She is the reason I'm here, so everything I do on and off the field is for her. And I just live life so I can, motiv so I can make her happy, pretty much. Um, I live my life, so I do things that would, say, make her proud. Chris Womack, WIAT 42 Sports. Coverage you can count on.